about neutrals versus grounds in house wiring. Um, let's talk a little bit about how electricity comes into your house. Uh, from your service panel, where the main electricity lines come from the, from the city, uh, electricity is fed into your house in, on three wires, which is, uh, they're usually color-coded black, white, and either bare copper or bare aluminum, sometimes green, depending on, on uh, how the house was wired. The basic function of each of those wires is the black wire, which is also known as the hot wire, actually carries the electricity into your house and allows it to be used by your appliances, your lights, fixtures, etc. Your neutral or your white is uh, basically what it does is once the electricity has been used it, it sends the signal back to the service panel to tell the circuit that it's been completed and that's about the simplest way I can describe that. Um, now in old houses you'll notice that uh, your, your outlets sometimes are only two prong. Uh, most of your modern outlets, you'll see three prongs. These two flat prongs and a, and a round one. The round prong is usually your ground wire. And uh, what, what that does, that ground wire allows, if there's a problem in the circuit that it's not completed for whatever reason, if the wire is interrupted or there's uh, any kind of a difficulty in the, the, wire, the, the circuit completing back to the service panel, the ground wire basically allows for that circuit to be completed. Without that, if there's a problem in the line, then the electricity will, f will try to find ground or earth. So if, there's, if you touch a lamp or something that's been shorted and it's not grounded, that's, it's going to ground right through you. So that's basically the difference between a neutral and a ground wire.